Hello, welcome to Liwat channel. This time we'll be doing challenge 4 without any premium heroes and premium skill. The team this time is Niven, Maria and Nurse P. You might be confused now as how this team works because all these 3 heroes are what we consider as chaser. They need to use block after allies use 3 chain. But these 3 heroes are a bit special. When they use their block after the allies 3 chain, that block is considered as 3 chain as well. Maria and Nespi 3 chain is instant, but not Niven. Niven will launch ice attack to immobilize the enemy. When this enemy got hit 5 times, Niven will use a bigger ice, and this is considered as 3 chain. So now you can see the connection. We are trying to create a 3 chain loop. Everyone support everyone. In that case, who should be the leader? Niven or Maria or Nuspi? For Niven to deal enough damage, we need a lot of hits. So that leaves us Niven and Nuspi. But we do need consistent ice attack. So leading Niven is the better choice. Niven as the leader will get a lot of SP. Archer class has the firing skill. This skill is very compatible with Niven as it deals a lot of hits. Remember the part I said about Maria and her speed block count as 3 chain? Maria is even more impressive. Not only just her block count as 3 chain, she also gains 60 SP even if we just use one block. She can get her SP skill very fast. I recommend using energy of goddess for this team. For her speed skill, generally it's protection of the goddess of blood donation but for this team protection of the goddess doesn't really help us taking a hit we still need to set up or die so if you feel lacking of damage consider energy of goddess for more event blocks let's talk about their weapon for challenge 4 we need 2400 penetration since remy level 7 gives us 500 penetration against the boss and then also Maria gives 1500 penetration. We just need 400 penetration for Niven. Since 400 penetration is just one attack slot, we can afford to use 2 HP sigil. For Maria and Nespi, use HP sigil as well. As for their weapon upgrades, Maria can use the damage reduction. While Nespi has two paths the damage reduction or the attack power. The attack power Nespi is useful when you want to use with blood donation skill. I hope by now you understand how this thing works. The rest is just mastering Sarah. Like on the first wave, when the enemy is starting to spin, Sarah twice on that. And when the boss one sending the ball, Sarah that as well. Also for the boss 2, Sarah when the SP is full. For the boss 3, it's around the half SP and 100% SP. For the boss 4, Sarah when it starts to float. To recap, remember to use Niven 3 chain first, and then start to alternate Maria and her speed to continue the loop. Almost forgot, use accuracy ring on Niven since the boss has 72% of evasion. Stage clear. Press like if you like the video and subscribe for more future videos.